Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal, not to our lesson we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Heroes Model School Academy. My name is Mr. Land. And I will be walking you through third grade science today. And we're going to be talking about uh, shapes construction today. Even though I may not be able to construct there with you in your home, I can share certain tips with you, certain materials that you can use to have fun, especially with your paper. All right. So please go ahead and turn to page number 119. Uh, the content is going to be there in front of you. And that is week number 31 of the curriculum. So today we're going to be talking about shapes construction, okay? So shapes construction, all right? So to construct the shapes of objects, you need materials that we often uh, use to construct shapes, right? Literally. So what kind of materials are you going to need? You may use paper, right? So you can use paper to make all those shapes that we talked about last week. What about wood? You can use wood and metal. Well, paper, paper is gonna be one of the easiest that you can use. You can do a lot with paper just to understand how to construct shapes. You can construct your square with a paper, with a piece of paper. You can construct your triangle. You can construct your hexagon, even with a piece of paper. You can construct a circle. Lots of things you can do with your with your with your paper over there. Uh, what about with wood? Well, you're gonna have to start using certain <laughs> certain tools if you want to get into wood construction. Right there, you're gonna need uh, things like your uh, pliers, which it's not gonna be advisable for you to start playing with this if you do not have an adult in front of you working with you. You're gonna need a snip. You may need a chisel, and which are certain sophisticated tools that you may not have access to. But with paper, all you need is your scissors, a pair of scissors. You need your maybe tape, paper tape, cello tape. You need your gum. You need a glue stick or something like that, and you can do a lot of constructions with your paper. But just to let you know that there are other materials that people can use to construct shapes, especially when they are trying to manufacture objects, like your cell phone, for example. Somebody has to put all that together to make the cell phone look a little rectangular for you, which there are lots of tools and sophisticated technologies that you do you just don't have access to as a student right now. They use things like wood and metal and things like that, but you don't have access to that. But with your paper, you can construct a lot of things. So what I am going to suggest to you moms and dads is the shapes that we talked about last week. You're welcome to take a copy of your page of last week's page. Take a copy of that and get a pair of scissors and just cut through those shapes and uh, you and your child, you can have fun with it. All right, so let's look at how to construct like a cylinder, for example. So a cylinder is going to have two circles. This is gonna be the first circle. This is gonna be the second circle over there. And then the body of the cylinder. Well, the body of the cylinder is just a simple rectangle that goes all the way like this. And when you cut this rectangle over, you just fold it. And when you fold it, you're gonna tape the hand of it together, but you form a cylinder like that. Then you are going to form a circle whose radius is gonna be equivalent to this distance, like from the middle point, middle point of your rectangle. So that's gonna be the radius of the circle. So radius R, so when you form a circle, you get radius R like this. How can you do that? Well, if you have, uh, they used to call this, I don't know if, <laughs> if you got, have access to it, uh, like a little compass that you can use to draw a circle around like that. We're going to talk about that. If you have a mathematical set, you can get a tool like this that you can use to just literally draw your circle, stretch it out on a ruler, and then draw out a circle. 
If you can't do that, just then that's understandable. When we get to fourth grade mathematics, we're going to be talking about how to use a mathematical set which has a protractor, he has a compass over there, he has a divider that you can use to draw circles and draw different shapes and you can cut them out. But just introductory lessons is what we're talking about right now on how to do constructions, especially with your paper. Um, all right. Okay, good stuff. So did you get something from it? Hopefully you, you can make some, <laughs> have some fun constructing over there with your little child. All right, thank you for joining me today. Remember, God cares about you and so do we. Until next time, bye-bye. I'll be your hero's body And as you study With hero's blood